you know, our source material was this Australian film, which uh, in that film Ben Mendelsohn played the role. Um, he's a complex, unpredictable, uh, he has a history of mental illness um, and a deeply toxic relationship with his mother, Smurf, uh, played by Ellen Barkin. Um, and our, our story sort of uh, deals with this crime, this blue collar crime family in Southern California, Oceanside. And um, my character recently just got out of prison for doing a bank robbery. Within, with the family and he didn't talk, so he did the time while they all walked free. Um, so the, it's a complex character because he is, uh, he's, he's dark, um, sometimes disturbing, um, but he also is the most loyal to, in the family and the, uh, the most reliable Cody. So season two, uh, if the, the rules for season one were outlined, which is the family sticks together, and Smurf is the, is the boss, Scott Speedman plays the character Baz, he's sort of the for, first lieutenant, and the rest of us, uh, Pope, Darren, and Craig are the soldiers, and the youngest, Jay, who is our nephew, has come to live with us. Um, and we pull off a pretty big uh, crime, where we, we rip off Camp Pendleton, and we take all this money. We, we actually make it. Um, season two, and then also at the end of season one, Smurf tasks Pope with, um, he, he, she puts a hit out basically on, on Baz's girlfriend and Pope murders her uh, in a very dark way. And so season two, we're going into the, the consequences of that action. And Pope feels manipulated. He, he identifies that, that Smurf used him um, in her ways, in her toxic ways, because she knows what, what buttons to push. And so there's a kind of a rebellion led against Smurf, and the, and the Cody brothers go out on their own, and they, they start doing jobs and taking the family business in a different direction. So it really, season two becomes the, the Cody brothers versus Smurf, with the youngest, Jay, kind of um, on the outside, deciding which, which way he's going to go, which allegiance he's going to go with. Um, the role of Pope is intriguing because it is so unpredictable. One minute he's, um, you know, he's kind or he's, he's smiling and loyal and then in the next minute he's doing something like staring at some young girl through a window. It's, you just, he's constantly off, off balance. Um, and as an actor, the range of emotion, you know, it goes from a one to a 10 in every episode. Um, so these are the kinds of things that that are fun to play because with television, um, you know, you play a character for so long it can be a little bit uh, programmed and boring. Um, but with a character like Pope, I never have that feeling. My co-stars are, uh, you know, one unique thing about Animal Kingdom is that we have uh, a variety of actors who have come up in different generations, Ellen uh, being our, um, our most wise and experienced actress. Uh, you, you could talk to her about Diner or working with Barry Levinson and then you could turn around and look at young Finn who is just 21 and he's working on Peaky Blinders. So to, to hear everybody's point of view coming up and me and Scott were like kind of 90s kids. Um, and then you have uh, Jake Weary and Ben Robson who are you know, just, just below us, just a little bit below us. We're not that old, but uh, so it's, it's cool, man. You get, you get a perspective from, from all these different uh, experiences and, um, and, and it's, it's a lot of fun. We have, we have a very loose set, as you can imagine, with, with a bunch of guys. We have a lot of fun, a lot of pranks, and, uh, and you know, it's fun. Animal Kingdom is on TNT, Tuesday nights, 9 p.m. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist. And while you're here, check out these other videos.